Jamal Hill's coming off a knockout loss this weekend to Alex Pereira in that title fight, but he's still going to get back in the cage as soon as possible and take on Prohaska, a fight that was supposed to happen in the past, but did not. I dare to be great against adversity and against a great challenge and came up short at the highest level in the world. I answered the call twice on short notice to fight for a championship that most will never fight for. On to the next Prohaska. Let's make it happen. To all the people that support me, I'm good. Don't let the haters get to you. I'm winning in life, so having to eat a loss like a man is what it is. They'll be quiet when the next man drops. Hill versus Prohaska is a fight that does make sense. They're right beside each other in the rankings. One and two, they're supposed to fight in the past. Ankalaev will probably fight Pereira for the title. And Blahovic and Rackett were supposed to fight in the beginning of the year, but Blahovic got a shoulder injury, so matching those two up could make sense too. Ankalaev is a guy that Alex Pereira says he has interest in fighting next, so that could be the next title fight. Ankalaev stylistically could be a problem for Pereira if he uses his wrestling and ground game, but. For whatever reason, guys just want to strike with Alex and get knocked out as a result. Uncle Ive has also talked about striking with Alex, so he may fall into that trap too. We shall see what happens, but for whatever reason, guys want to stand up with Alex and get knocked up out. And then the other big thing for me is sleeping. I just lo I, I love sleeping and I need sleep. 